Here's a quick video on what I use to keep my 12 volt battery in my Nissan Leaf topped off. So it, what's going on, it starts over here. I live in an apartment, so this isn't the best setup, but this is a old solar panel. Let's see. I'll probably just post a picture of what that says. So I have 10 gauge wire, I believe. I got a 100 foot roll and cut it in half and just twisted it together. Just to kind of keep it out of the way, it goes up. And for now, it's going on this clothesline. And then to the front of the car where it charges. So actually figure out how you can close this but still have it connected. So there's a small gap here where this wire does not get pinched, but you can pull a wire through. And this is the connector. And it just can hang out in here. So let me show you. So here's the solar charge controller. So right now it says charging. So it kind of steps down the voltage from the solar panel. And then it has another one of these connectors here, same type. So one of them's going to the negative one to the positive, just bolted on top. And then this, what I did is I popped these one, two, three, four, five, and these pop off. Pretty easy, you just have to be careful, and then you can kind of fish the wire. So it starts here, I believe it starts about here. Yeah, so it goes here. So there's it's a little tricky to get through, but once you get it through this side, then it's just, just press it together enough so you feel like a strong connection it doesn't need to be on all the way, really. So let me sh show you what kind of voltage this is putting out, and it's a pretty sunny day, no clouds. So it's still... Charging. And so this is what's coming straight off. Connecting to the battery. Testing it before the solar charge controller. Panels and still full sun. So that's what I'm getting. And the way I close this up. Then you can close it. And then if you actually can have this totally connected. And then if you look, it 
right here, there's kind of a little gap where there's not the weather stripping. So you're not going to keep that. So I just close this most of the way. I'm just going to feed it up here. Make sure it's not going to get snagged there and just have that up. And then I'll just close completely. So the front charging is secure, but it's also still charging. And ideally you don't want this much wire, but it's kind of what I have to do right now. So it seems to be working. It's, I think it's more important to do this in the winter if you're not driving the car for a little bit so the battery can stay healthy. So this connector here is from another uh, battery tenderizer. So this normally went to like the alligator clips and I cut it off and then just connected it to this 10 gauge wire. So I have that special clip that goes to that. So there's actually a fuse here and there's another fuse that's in the engine bay. So it's kind of got two points where the fuses will blow if the voltage got too high, which I don't think would happen, but it's been running smooth for a couple months now.